hello there I don't suppose anybody's going to be out about um, this is the only time I could have um, hello everybody so uh, this is the only time I could have done the um, the astrology um, predictions so it's only me today because our lovely Greg is with his family for Thanksgiving I think he's having a wonderful time um, his sister's down to stay he hasn't seen her for a, for a long time he's been at his mum's so yeah it's been it's been lovely for him it's been it's been wonderful so yeah it's just me today um I don't suppose anybody's gonna be up well they might yeah even in the uh, you'll say it's kind of nearly down to bedtime isn't it for you guys um but yeah, so I'm going to attempt to do what Greg does. He does it so well. Bless him. All this, all the intro bit. He's so used to it, I suppose. But so I'm going to I'm going to do my best. Okay. Firstly, I want to apologise that we didn't do a date night. Hello, Daphne. Hello. Um, I'm sorry we didn't do date night. It was my fault. I could not. Hello, Desiree. I couldn't face it. I was very, very tearful, very upset. Um, you know, aren't my worst fears are actually happening um, because in the UK we are in what they call tier three. Um, so it's a, it's a no flying over for Greg for Christmas. So I had to get my head around that um, because it's very upsetting because obviously <laughs> since I've met Greg, I've only had two weeks in his company. So it's getting a little bit... Yeah, so anyway, so that's kind of why I couldn't face it. So I had to kind of have a few days just to just to let out my emotions and just go with it. Also, I had my grandchildren over as well. So I had to kind of do the happy nanny thing as well. Um, well, I'm, I'm classed as nan nan. I prefer to be nan nan. Um, but I had a lovely time there. Um, yeah, it's really sad about you know, with we're thinking maybe fly somewhere else to be together. I don't know. I don't know. It's all up in the air at the moment. So, um, that's kind of why <laughs> you haven't seen us. Um, but um, so, um, obviously, you know me. Um, I'm Ali from uh, PsychicAli.net. So, if anybody would like any readings with me, um, there are. Um, some, some availability coming up if anybody would like one um, I've got a sale on at the moment with um, with that so I felt that everybody's in at, you know pinched before Christmas so I've lowered the prices down okay and just to, to help people out so if there is people who are feeling a bit like me a bit like bleh you know you could come and have a reading and um, you know I can put some positivity um, into your life okay so um, so these are the water signs and this is for obviously with the 28th here so it will probably be from now and it will be up until the 7th of December okay 2020 so this is what this covers okay so um, don't forget to um, look up your sun moon and rising signs you should be watching three the three of these astrology um forecasts um because and if you want to find out what your sun moon and rising is you can actually just type in sun moon and rising um and type that into a search engine and it will come up and all you do is you put your birth date in your location and um the time of your time of your birth so if you put all those in, they will uh, give you your sun, moon and rising. Um, for Greg, um, obviously he's got a sale on as well. So all ladies' t-shirts are at least 50% off. Um, not the customised ones, but uh, the other ones. So if you wanted to grab a t-shirt, um, I think they're about $15. Um, that includes the tie-dye, ice, ice dyes. Um, so you can go to infod.net if you want to and go over there. Um, you can support lovely Greg. Um, he'd appreciate any support you can give him. Basically, he's um, seriously shadow banned. 
Um, it's just terrible what they're doing. In fact, every time we put a video on, they automatically keep resetting it to be only me, only, only the person seeing it, so not to go public. So we have to change it every time because this is what they keep doing. So um, obviously we're changing it in the settings and they're just changing it back. So they think they're funny. <laughs> um, okay, so if you wanted to be a patron, you know, to be part of the Patreon family, um, you can go to patreon.com um, slash in 5D and that can be as little as $1.11 a month. He does a t-shirt giveaway every month uh, for anybody who's in the Patreon family. Um, and that the next one is going to be December the 12th at 12.12pm 12, 12 Eastern Time. Okay, so you can join him there. Um, you can also join us both on um, in5d.club. Um, and that's a place for people who are like-minded to meet other like-minded people. Either for friendship or for, um, or for love. Um, so yeah there's a twin flame group on there there's uh, you can actually create other groups on there if you want to so yeah that's uh, in 5 dclub okay so um, the other thing is that uh, we're carrying on with the list I didn't read it out um, this Tuesday obviously because we didn't have date night but I will um, come on and do that again soon okay so day are we today saturday so i may do it on the sunday show when we do on the sunday um i'll do it then okay so um yeah the list if you want to be part of the list the, the list is um there um it's it's obviously similar to the club but the club is actually a meeting place but the list is something that i read out and it's for people who are looking to to find their true love looking to find somebody um, to spend the rest of their life with, basically. So, yeah, we're fine. Thank you, Tricia. Um, yeah, so you can, you can basically add your name, and I read it out every week, um, and it's just your first name and your initial, so you don't have to worry about other people knowing that you're on the list. Does, if you're in a relationship but you want to be closer with that person, then you can add their name and your name. Um, you, it's anybody who is, um, I mean, obviously me and Greg are on there as well, because obviously we wanted to be together physically. Um, so obviously, um, you know, it is for everybody. Okay, so yeah, if you wanted to be on the list, you just write list. Oh, there's my brother, hi oh, Jake. Oh, there's my brother. Hello, how's you and Nikki? Oh, just off to bed now. Oh, that's late. Did you have you been working? Yeah, you are. I remember reading your name, Tricia. Okay, so I'm going to get on with the um this these star signs. So we're doing water signs. So we're going to start off with Scorpio, and then Pisces, and then Cancer. Okay. So. Right, let's see what's going to be happening with, okay, I'll add you to theme. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Okay, so Scorpios are a bit of a sting. Um, when they love somebody, they love very intensely. Um, but if you are even thinking about rejecting them, they'll say they didn't care anyway. So and they pull pull away before you can. Okay, so that's a typical Scorpio. This is my daughter Rhiannon. Okay, so um so any other Scorpios out there? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so there is a little bit of um, romantic uh, feelings or nice gestures coming your way um, at the start of the week. Um, it feels as though there's somebody who's trying to make a good impression and they're definitely trying to get your attention. 
Um, now, for some of you, that will be romantic. For others of you, that will be, um, you know, it could be just a friendship. It could be somebody who just uh, thinks that you deserve a nice treat, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that there is some, just when you think that you're nearly there, that you've nearly got what it is that you have been striving for, uh, you've nearly achieved that goal, then along comes that last minute obstacle, which is really frustrating for you. Um, so the, the, uh, the message is just hang in there. Um, just don't, um, don't give up yet. Um, that everything will work its way out. And sometimes you have to find another way around um, a problem, find your way another, another way. The universe will show you which direction you should be going in. Okay, so remember to look out for the signs. It seems to be a person around you who is very, very bubbly. Um, they are trying to uh, do the best for you. They're trying to be there for you. Now, this person is going to get really close to you. Um, they're going to be very, very much um, needed in your life at this particular time. Okay. So there's going to be some very good news regarding something official. Okay, around the middle of the week. Um, this official information is like a letter, document, forms. Um, when that letter comes to you, you will start to see um, that things are working out in your favour and that things are going to slot into place um, very, very shortly. Now, the wheel here indicates that things are moving on, things are not staying the same, um, and that, that is um, a good thing because that makes me feel as though there has been a bit of stagnant um, energy around the beginning of the week. So by the middle of the week, um, things are moving on, okay? You've also got the world card, which is one of the best cards in the deck. Um, and this just indicates that everything is working out better than you thought, okay? And that along with the justice card, which is legal documents or official documents or getting what you deserve. Towards the end of the week, um, there's a lot more strength, okay, in you, um, more strength than you realise. So um, just when you feel that you're kind of, um, you know, you've got no nothing more to give or, you know, you can't get on any further, um, then along comes this other kind of strength uh, within you um, to push on through. Um, there's a strong feeling of um, making a decision. I feel this is around um, money matters. Um, so you're going to be pushed into kind of this, you've got to make a decision and it's got to be now. Um, and I feel that this kind of, um, you know, working it out, and I'm, I'm definitely seeing the calculations on paper, working out whether this is better than that, uh, whether you should stay doing what you're doing or change pathways to do something else. Um, but there's definitely kind of a, um, a decision time going on at the end of the week. Okay. So emotionally for you. So emotionally, there's going to be um, a, def a definite feeling of past life connections um, at this time. You you're going to be um, around somebody who um, they cheer you up without even trying. Um, you end up feeling as though, um, you know, this person knows me beyond what they know of me in this lifetime. Um, this person, there's some, it's like saying also that there's some undone business that you've actually got to sort something out in this, in this lifetime in some way. Um, emotionally, you're going to find a lot of joy and happiness, okay, in your life this, this week. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of silly games, that sort of thing, silliness, um, lightheartedness, okay. Um, and uh, yeah, they're just showing me the choice again that you're going to need to make. Okay, so that is for you, um, Scorpios. Okay, I'm going to make sure I cross it off last week. Cause last, <laughs> last time, um, I ended up doing the Earth signs twice. <laughs> um, yeah, I had to do the whole thing again um, for the for the next sign. The, so yeah, it was just I had to we we deleted some. Greg uh, deleted it for me, but he was none the wiser because we were so tired. It was uh, it was funny. Hello, Ray. Hello. Okay. 
Okay, I'll put you both down, Daphne. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm working, Paige, I'm working on um, American time. That's, uh, so I go to bed about six-ish, something like that. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a workshop tomorrow. Um, the the um, topic isn't clear yet, so I'm going to let them all decide tomorrow what they want me to teach. So um, I've written some ideas down on the um, on my Facebook page, so it's on there. Okay, right. So um, the next one is Pisces. This is my side. Okay, so what is going on with us Pisces people? Okay, so I'm just going to I might just swap decks. Because, yeah, I think I'll just swap decks because there was a lot of um, major arcana cards together, which isn't a problem. There's Mo, my cat. Look at his tail. How fluffy is his tail? Hello, Mo. Come say hello then. This is Mo. <clears throat> isn't he lovely? Bless him. He's a good boy, aren't he? Okay, so we're going to do Pisces. I mean, I hit you in the nose. Okay, so Pisces people, let's have a look. Let's tune in to you. So this is for uh, now up until the 7th of December. So the beginning of the week, I'm seeing lots of paperwork that's needing to be get, get got sorted. Okay, I feel as if you've been delaying things, putting things off, feeling as if oh, I'll do it tomorrow, um, or by the time you go to bed, you're like, oh my god, I didn't do it again. So yeah, there's a lot of those feelings of kind of impatience with yourself and wanting to get more organised. Um, there is a strong feeling of wanting to take a project further. Okay, so I feel that you've already done well. You just want to take it further further than, than you are. You know that you're capable of it. You know that you can do um, anything that you put your mind to because you've done it before. Okay, um, so we run on emotions, um, Pisces. So when we've got lots of emotions going on, um, we try really hard um, to, um, to push those emotions back so that we put our face on and you know then we carry on with everything so if emotionally you're not ready to do this paperwork because it might be something you don't want to face or something like that that's why we delay things but um i feel that you're going to feel so much better once you get it done and get it sorted so that's going to be um part of your plan i feel this week um, there has been somebody who's been rejecting you, somebody who has been uh, making you feel as if you're having to put more effort in than they are um, at this time. Um, I mean, it could be the other way around that somebody else is trying to put more effort in than you are. Um, either way, um, there's a need to kind of get that balanced out. So if you're aware that you might not be, um, you know, showing enough affection to somebody, um, making that person feel special enough, um, then maybe it's time to um, sort that out. Try and remember how it felt when it was you, when you was feeling as if that, you know, you know, that this person or anybody else for that matter, didn't care about you and, and it was the other way around. So sometimes it, to avoid pain and upset, we just need to make that little bit more of an effort um, and that will um, make things right, okay? Right, so by the middle of the week, middle of the week, there's somebody sulking, okay, around you. They're sulking, they're not, um, they're definitely not playing fair. They want everything their own way. Um, 
they're not making anybody um, feel hold on a minute what's the word they're not making everybody feel um, as if they can please them though does that make sense so it's like everybody might be jumping through hoops for them but it's still not good enough okay and there's this this strong feeling of you know what else do you want okay from me so Pisces people it's going to be walking on eggshells around this person unfortunately now the chariot indicates that you may be divided over how you handle this situation with one or someone else in the family so it could be that this is lots of other people um, in the family who are um, maybe also going through um, certain issues like this okay now if it's not family this could be a friendship it could be that some of your friends are, are seeing this other person singling themselves out or you know they might be you know being singled out because of their behavior um, so it's like um, there's a need to kind of get that person to see sense and to not keep um, treating everybody the way that they are so this could even be the run on from what we've been going through in the beginning of the week okay there will be a sense of letting go and walking away from this person and this situation by saying enough is enough um, I'm not going to be doing this anymore I'm drawing a line under this and that's it that's it so um, I feel that this um, is going to be a bit shocking for the person who has been um, sulking because they're used to people running after them or used to people worrying about what what's what they're going through um, instead there's a different reaction uh, to this I feel that you're just going to stand your ground you're not going to back down either okay so um to do with emotions this week emotions there's um it's definitely a feeling of letting go um but there will be a sense of peace and tranquility after you've made that stand and stood up for yourself okay so that is pisces okay so we're now going to do cancerians um so that was for me and my mum um so cancerians this is for my other daughter megan okay so um any other cancerians out there let me know and there's only five people watching but there might be some others tomorrow when you're watching it okay i have a black and white kitten she's three months old oh trisha aren't they lovely i just love cats there's no airs and graces with them though is there they either love you one minute and can't be bothered with you the next you know <laughs> they they don't um they don't just love you like dogs do <laughs> they, they literally are very finicky as well so what i do like about cats is that you never own a cat um they'll either stay with you if they want to and if they don't want to then they'll just move on to another household and choose other parents um so that's kind of them um, it could be a bit selfish bless them okay so this is now cancerians okay so for cancerians you're withdrawing away okay into yourself you're pulling away from the hustle and bustle of, of life. It could be from, you know, any situations that are uncomfortable around you, anything that you're not enjoying, um, you're going to be withdrawing. I feel that you are um, needing to put your barriers up, needing to put your defences up. Um, and this is literally because you feel as though you can't handle anything anymore. Hi, Vera. Um and um, this kind of safety issues is um, is the only way that you can handle things at this time. Um, so Cancerians, you've got that hard outer shell which protects your vulnerability. So whenever you feel vulnerable, um, the first thing that you do is to withdraw, does that make sense, and shield. Um, I can see that there is some anger or frustration um, right deep inside and that's staying there, but it is festering. 
So you may need to find a way of getting that out there, of trying to look after your emotions, um, trying to, you know, find some outlet. Now that could be going down the beach and throwing some pebbles in the water. Um, that could be writing somebody a letter and then burning it or, um, or freezing it. Um, it can be anything at all, but sometimes getting it out there is the best thing possible for you. Okay, rather than it just going on inside. So the middle of the week, your psychic ability is going to get very, very strong. Um, so the feeling that you have, uh, you'll be connecting to another person, another either water sign or another in, emotional person, or it could be linked with emotional situations. Um, these deep feelings are going to be connected where you're going to be picking up on that person and they're going to be picking up on you. Um, so it's like you're kind of, um, you're linked, okay? Now it could be that you're linked with, you know, to do with family or it could be a close friend. Um, it is definitely somebody that you know very well um, and, you know, you've got this kind of sixth sense going on between you all. There's somebody who's feeling tearful and feeling emotional and you're going to want to be there for them. Um, but part of you is still blocking yourself from doing that. OK. And then by the end of the week, there's some good news coming. It just feels as if everything seems to be lighter. Everything seems to be working out the bet for the best. Um, I feel that there's a taking control of the situation, um, knowing what what needs to be done now. OK. Um, and I feel that there seems to be some travel plans movement regarding travel um you know vehicles travel anything to do with that so um everything seems to be to be going going qu quite in your favor i wish i'd have had that card those cards because that would have been <laughs> something good for me and greg then couldn't it <laughs> but um no it's for cancerian so um so yeah we've got the world card we've got the eight of wands which is travel and we've got the take in charge card. Okay, but uh, that's good for Cancerians. So let's have a look emotionally. So emotionally, um, very much um, somebody close to you who is feeling um, as if they um, are reconnecting with you after there being a little bit of difficulty. So things are going to definitely get much better um, this week. Um, expectations are very high on both sides so maybe there's a need to kind of see things from each other's point of view um, and this will help to um, you know um, soften everything okay that, that you're going through okay so there you go there's the water signs everybody um, like I said if you would like a reading with myself um, psychic counselling, life path, um, spells, um, anything, okay, one-to-one -one psychic development. There's a sale on at the moment. Um, you can go to psychicalley.net. You can also get gift vouchers. The gift vouchers are open. Um, so whoever you buy that gift voucher for, they can choose what they would like to spend it on um, from psychic counselling, psychic development, tarot tuition, um, a reading, or anything basically anything that's there so yeah great reading for my part the things really make sense for what you're saying good good so very brilliant news about benji really pleased for you so i just want to tell everybody a little bit about um vera's lovely dog benji we've um we do psychic development and in the background is always the dog and the cat um I think it's Miss Charmingly um, is the cat's name and the dog is called Benji and Benji needs an operation. So we're going to be doing a bit of a fundraiser for Vera and Benji. So I'm hoping, you know, we can get it organised and then see, you know, if we can start raising some money for this operation because they're not cheap, as you know. Um, so, yeah, we'll do some some readings or things Um yeah, do some spells and, and things like that, so for Vera. So it's good news, though, because he's been waiting for this operation for quite some time, um, and the vets have finally said yes 
Um, so I'm really pleased for, for Vera. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I'll be back in, in a couple of seconds um, with um, what we're doing next, the earth signs. Okay, take care everybody. Bye.